Kiko, thanks for uh, thanks for posting a video response on this. Uh, you are right in terms of birth control. I had completely overlooked the fact that they're not 100% perfect. Um, that being said, condoms with spermicide uh, have been uh, have been shown scientifically, at least as far as I remember, to be uh, roughly 99.9% .9 effective. That plus the pill would reduce the uh, chance of a of an actual series of an actual birth down to probably point not not one percent or less than that. Um, now, of course, mind you, that is combined probability uh, and a whole bunch of other different issues. So. Um, you are right. I did overlook that as a possibility, and on that point, I will agree for the debunking of the argument. Um, and uh, you'll forgive me for saying, but uh, the point of the birth control issue, um, you know, the birth control issue would be about the only point on which I'd agree with you uh, in relation to the immorality of, um, uh, of incest. Uh, let me explain um, perfectly what I'm trying to what I'm trying to point out here. Um, as you said, uh, there are whenever you look at morality, you look at what the customs are, you look at what the the group overall decides, what the laws are made, etc. Problem with that line of logic, though, um, customs, as I pointed out before in in my previous video response to which you replied here, are largely based on um, leftovers from our religious traditions, um, uh, or you know. The, uh, for example, um, uh, a large chunk of what we view as moral, uh, view more, um, for example, uh, not showing, um, uh, you know, completely censoring out body parts on television, uh, that sort of thing. Um, that sort of thing was originally sponsored by the religious right um, in, in many cases, you know, the Christian conservative right. Um, they still have quite a voice in terms of censorship um, for uh, media and the like. But anyway, I digress. Um, my point being is that... Um, if you, unless there is an actual basis for why, unless there is an actual reasoning behind uh, why the um, the constraints in term uh, besides the incest issue, unless there are an a, there's an actual reason why um, you know the the, the more um, the customs or the uh, or the tradi or the laws or the traditions that are uh, are um, approved by the by the majority of the group, unless there's a logical reason for why they are right. Um, then the bulk of them would just fall under uh, ad populum fallacy or appeal to tradition fallacy. Um, in this point of, um, uh, again, let me um, point this out clearly. Um, uh, you know, well, this is what's good for this group because the group has picked this, uh, you know, in terms of what the laws have made. Well, that would be an ad populum because that's what the majority or all the group believe. But just because, the, just because a large group of people believe something does not necessarily mean it's true or right. Um, you know, again, there would have to be required further explanation of that. Um, in terms of, um, in terms of, uh, well, you know, this is what the customs are. Well, customs could go back for three, four, five centuries, and um, you know, if it's been a custom for a long time, that's be a, a custom and a tradition are interchangeable, and that falls under appeal to tradition fallacy. Again, unless there is an elaborate, re unless there is a reason as to why that custom was put in in the first place, and as to why that custom still holds true today, then um, both of those uh, arguments fall under fall are, are fallacious. Now, in terms of um, the subtle man power manipulation issues, yes, I agree with you. There is a uh, tendency, of, that's a reason I suggested for the age of majority. Um, one of the things which I posted in my original video, um, uh, I posted another video, I uh, re- uh, called re-sincere uh, uh, and serious question to homosexuals, where I reply directly to the Muslim guy, and I pointed out that the um, that the major issue in terms of um, manipulation that happens in terms of incest, uh, subtle power manipulations, is more so between parent and child or grandparent and well, grandparent and child. Is you know the age difference there. That's again personally, that's just my own. I consider that to be contrary to evolutionary. Uh, I consider uh, age difference in some cases to be. You know, that's just my own personal thing about not being turned on by that. By that, but anyway, that's another side note. Um, my uh, the major thing which concerns me about this is the um, is a, the the major fact about these manipulations is largely because of the fact that uh, and this was a, a debate I got into with another atheist a while back. Um, they said that they, the major reason they would not support um, incest in that case is because of the fact that if their father had done it, they would they would say that you know they would be afraid about getting cut out of the will or something like that. But um, my concern about that is the fact that, um, you know, if uh, if somebody is trying to cause a manipulation, uh, then the manipulation is no different than anybody else trying to cause a manipulation. Um, so you know, to follow that same argument, uh, therefore, men and women should not be um, men and women should not be having sex. Period. Owing to the fact that in our society uh, there is still a subtle uh, means by which men can still manipulate over women. There are still men who abuse their spouses. That does not give uh, reason for men and women not to still uh, procreate or to have uh, relations. Period. Even without procreation. 
Um, my point being with, sorry, I, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place here, but I'm trying to uh, make a point. And the point being that um, relationship issues, uh, particularly when it comes to subtle power manipulations, um, the bulk of them can be described as an appeal to authority fallacy. Um, uh, n not so, um, more so in the sense that the appeal to authority is uh, caused by the parent. And if the child is training critical thinking, especially from an early age, um, such as my father trained me, um, you know, such as I was trained uh, in logic in an early age. Um, if you train, if you train someone uh, to to form a logical, co uh, a coherent format, then should a parent and child, um, you know, after an age of majority, choose to have a consenting relationship, um, uh, particularly as well if the child initiates it, uh, particularly as well if the child initiates it, is well aware of uh, how people can manipulate. Uh, again, uh, is well aware of all the various propaganda tactics, psychological manipulation tactics, and critical thinking fallacies. As long as they're aware of that, and if and if they are the initiate, um, you know, if they are if they are the initiators, and um, again, basically my point being, as long as as long as a child is imperfect, is aware of how people can be manipulated, and um, you know, can fit and you know, can avoid uh, reasoning on the emotional level. Again, sorry, I am speaking from context of being an Aspie here, so I, I am aware that this will be difficult for neurotypicals to do, but. If they were able to work purely on a logical basis from this, um, you know, and could spot attempts at manipulation, um, you know, because again, manipulation um, isn't necessarily logical. It does work a little bit more so on emotional levels. Um, you know, if they can spot that and can then uh, refute that, then um, it would make it easier. Um, you know, it would make it more moral uh, in my book for incest to happen. Uh, only insofar as that manipulation was not happening. The moment manipulation started happening from e from one side or the other, the relationship should automatically cease, especially if the other party notices it. Because um, at that point, then it would be, um, you know, then it, uh, that, at that point, then it would be taking advantage of somebody. But until then, as long as both parties are aware of what's going on, and one party is a, is aware, um, and the you know the party who could be manipulated is aware. Of uh, or you know uh, on a brother sister level, if both parties can be manipulated, but one by the other, then um, if both parties are aware of how manipulation happens and can be uh, happen, then both parties can um, you know can take a look at it, and if they start seeing manipulation, they can pull out before uh, they can pull out of the uh, out of the sexual relationship before any real harm is done. Um, I guess my point being is that um, you know yes, these problems are there; they can be amended. Um, in terms of the uh, issue of birth control. Um, it is, um, you know, yes, the uh, yes, no, uh, no birth control is 100% uh, perfect, but um, there is one other thing I might want to mention. Um, picture this. Uh, let me let me point out this scenario. You've already had kids by another partner. Um, say, for example, say you buy your wife or what have you, right? You don't want any more kids, or you're not interested in having kids. Well, there actually are a couple of there actually are a couple of birth control methods which actually are 100% foolproof. Or more specifically, are uh, down to point not 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 one per, not, uh, one percent, um, and those are vasectomy and tube tying. Basically, you're sterilizing the part. Uh, you're sterilizing either one or both the partners. As long as that happens, then there is no seed or egg to uh, available to uh, cause a pregnancy in the first place. Now there are health side effects to this, and it would have to be under the volition of one or or both partners. No, uh, neither could partner could force it on another. If they wanted to be in this relationship, they would have to volunteer to do it themselves. Uh, again, that would be the and that would be the other issue. So um, there are birth control methods which are so effectively effective that basically it would re it would require sterilization. Now that being said, it is possible to reverse them at a later point. Um, less so for vasectomies because there are severe health side effects. Um, tubes tying. Uh, could be reversed uh, considerably easier, but again, both uh, pose uh, health side effect risks. Um, but again, like I said, if, if somebody wants to, to sterilize themselves uh, in order to have a, a relationship with their sibling or their parent, um, and as long as they're aware of the um, critical thinking fallacies and uh, formats that uh, are manipulative, um, I could see no problems with it as long as they were willing to go into it um, with, you know, fully open eyes, fully based on logic, uh, you know, and being aware of how they could be manipulated to come back out. So this way, um, you know, so this way they could pull out uh, before any real harm was done. Um, other than that, um, the bulk of it is, uh, you know, based on, as you said, on customs and uh, what the majority or what is good for that society, which again uh, falls under uh, ad populum and appeal to tradition fallacies. Now, if you could provide me another basis as to why this is wrong, I'd agree with you. Until then, that's my epistemological argument.